Hi guys, it's Christy, and as those of you who are on the Philofaxy Facebook page know, I just got my original, the original, Philofax in fluoro pink, personal size today. I'd ordered it from Right at Home, which is based in the UK, and got it with super fast shipping. They shipped it out on Monday of last week. I got it today, and it's wonderful. I absolutely love it and a few people had asked um, have been asking about it and several of the people on Filofaxi have this planner and there have been a few videos about it. Alondra has one and or Lola and Kathy has one and I will link both of their videos in the below bar so you can see theirs uh, as well because they actually have theirs set up. Mine is actually not set up yet. Um, I took it out of the box, left it alone because I knew I wanted to do a review on it. So basically this video is going to be a first impressions review type video for this file of facts which is brand new for me. I've never actually done one on my channel before, so I hope you all like it. Um, please leave some comments below or questions that you have about this binder or anything else. So, let's get started. I did leave it in the original packaging. Um, it looks like maybe Filofax is not going to send the boxes of any type or things like that with their Filofaxes anymore. It looks like this new plastic packaging is the way they're going to go and it covers the entire file of facts um, the sides here are even covered the top edges are not but this sticks out enough where they're fairly protected it's both sides as well as the interior which I'll show you shortly um, so the outside is this plastic it has the made in the UK file of sticker on the top as well as in the back on the back it says Filofax the original made in the UK which is great and genuine leather and it shows you what the layout is so you wouldn't even necessarily have to open the binder to see it unless you wanted to see the rings or something like that so all right let's get started on the interior you can see that the plastic protector is over both sides so that way if you just want to open it and look at it you don't have to get fingerprints on anything and it's just it's there so I'm actually going to go ahead and take it off and put it to the side the leather quality is wonderful it's so smooth and it feels very durable and if you notice it is leather wrapped all the way around the um, not sure what you call these actually where the rings are bound to the leather it does show so some people don't like that I personally didn't really mind it so it's great and you can see this is just the the clasp is bound directly to the leather like that and you can see the rivets that's what they are rivets um, but I personally it doesn't bother me I kind of like it so the interior very simple two pockets here which actually are not too terribly bad to open and one long pocket which seems fine it does have the interior embossed I think I think that's embossing Filofax the original established 1921 Filofax made in the UK personal organizer real leather um, I love the contrasting stitching on this it's a you can't really tell this on the video but it's a tan stitching I think which matches the tan interior this and I'm like this with several others this is the only thing that really confuses me um, most file faxes have it, the pen holder or pencil holder over here and if they have two there's one here and one here this actually has one here and one here and then this pocket here um, I'm probably going to have to get a pen holder or something like that to put here for my pens because I agree with several of the people who have this binder. That's going to make it, it's kind of in an awkward spot. It's going to hit tabs and things like that. So I may just leave that alone. I may put something like a lip pen in there, which is a small 
small pen if you've not seen those and I think this was probably made for a phone I think it's probably too small in the personal size for an iPhone but I may stick some sticky notes maybe or something in there and then I'll probably just leave this one alone the card slots I don't really use these on the insides of my binders except for my student ID so that's actually perfect for me it does come with a clear fly leaf I thought at first this was part of the fly leaf but it's not it is a clear fly leaf and this is sort of a cover sheet but I think I'm gonna leave that in there because it's just neat and it's pretty it looks like it's it's part of the Union Jack flag which is the United Kingdom's flag and it says made in the UK Valifax the original which is kind of neat so I think I'm gonna leave that in there it does come with dividers six dividers And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And um, I was a bit surprised at the dividers. The quality, to me, they're very thin. You can see how easily they bend, um, which is fine. That really doesn't bother me. I guess that's good because you don't really want really thick dividers because it takes up page space, believe it or not. So. I kind of like the thin dividers. It just surprised me. Maybe they're recycled paper, something like that. They are just numbered, um, and they're different colors. It's blue and sort of a seafoam green color, I guess you could say. So it comes with those. The next thing it has is the typical to-do list, and then it has the Filofax lined paper, and then the graph paper what I call it um, or the quadral paper um, which I've heard I believe Kate posted on the Filofaxi Facebook page that this was very good quality she used a fountain pen on it and it didn't bleed through so I can't wait to try that and probably maybe buy some more it does come with blank Filofax paper and then of course the typical colored paper um, that is lined. However, it doesn't come in the variety of colors that you're used to. It has the blue and the seafoam green, that's just what I'm going to call it, and a pink. So three colors that are fairly easy to write on. The blue is not as dark as it's to me it's showing in the video. Um, it's fairly, it looks like it's fairly easy to write on. So this binder, since I guess it's halfway through, oh here's your address sheets. Can't come with came with several of those. And then it has the 2014 Week on Two Pages diary. Um, and this, as several people have mentioned that have bought maybe this one, maybe the Safiano and some others, that it is the almost like the cotton cream week on two pages it everything is evenly spaced your weekends are not squished down like i'll show you in a moment because this does have a 2013 diary in it they're evenly spaced and i'll try to zoom in a little bit so you can see okay you see and that is the multi-language um but i like that if i'm going to use filofax inserts i like the cotton cream ones because it is evenly spaced because a lot of times I have class on Saturdays or an event or something like that and plus that makes it kind of fun to decorate the weekends if you like to decorate your binders and your planners. So I have a full year of 2014 and then it comes with a clear well it's actually the frosted ruler and it is it is a little bit different you can see it has file effects there on the bottom and it also has Filofax on the top, um, which that makes no difference to me. It doesn't matter to me whether it says today on the top or Filofax. Um, the frosted ruler is, in fact, my favorite ruler for Filofaxes. It is easier to go down in there. It's easier to turn, and you can see through it. The This one, the brown one, and the black one are very good. I do not like the clear Filofax ruler. If you're looking for one that you can see through, I recommend the frosted because the clear one is very, very rigid and it's very hard to just do that and pull out of the file effects without having to open the ring. So, and then I do have a clear envelope here where you can stitch a top opening envelope where you can 
put pictures or receipts or whatever you want to do in there. I love those. And then the last inserts in here are the 2013. And you can see what I was saying about Saturday and Sunday being a little squished. It's nice because these are bigger. And if you need more space during the week, these are great. But... Sometimes people want more space on the weekend, especially if you decorate, and this makes it a little hard to do that. So I do like the new 2014 inserts. And then in the back is the sort of half writing pad, jot pad, if you will. Um, it has kind of thin paper, if you ask me. I actually probably would use this for lists and things like that, a grocery list. This would be easy for me to jot down a grocery list and take it out. I would not use it for taking notes in a meeting or something like that. But I believe there is a an article on Filofaxi, the blog Filofaxi, about how to turn a full-sized pad in where it will fit in these. Because you can see your slot to slip it in is right here and all you do I believe is cut halfway through and just put one side in there and you can fit a full-sized writing pad in the back so and this does open if you don't like writing pads in the back this can be an extra pocket for you so it's really a very versatile binder it's a really good binder I was really excited when I got it I was I've been waiting for it for only a week, really not that long. I um, mean, they're now available in the U.S. I'm not sure what the stock is on them, which ones are in stock. I think a couple of them haven't made it to the U.S. yet to be in stock, but you can get these in the U.S. now. I would recommend Write at Home. Margaret there is great. I'll put a link for them there. They do have free shipping internationally until the end of June, so a few more days, and they have free shipping. So I really, really highly recommend them. They're really great. I have really no complaints about this binder i have not set it up yet i will set it up and as many of you know i posted about being in planner fail and i think i'm about out of it so i'll be excited to set this up and show you how i'm actually using my file facts instead of just running through like i have before flipping through I actually show you what i'm using to plan how i plan it why i do what i do in the file effects so i think that's that's really helped me sort of get out of planner fail and i can't wait to use to use this binder um, i'm probably going to set it up tonight and maybe film a video later um, so i actually have no complaints the rings are in good shape the leather is fantastic um, and we'll see when i get it all set up it lays flat enough and it will that will probably lay completely flat in a couple of days anyway once I start using it so I'll start using it I'll set it up let everyone know how let everyone know how that goes and hopefully come back with a video on that maybe a blog post I will be doing a corresponding blog post to this video on my blog coffee and literature about this binder before I set it up I'll probably well, since I said I'll set this up tonight, I'll probably do that tonight. Take some pictures and things like that, some close-ups of what things look like so you all can see that. So if you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I'll put links to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and blog on there. You're welcome to comment on my blog. Join, Friend me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, and I look forward to hearing from all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye-bye.